Hello, welcome back, and thanks for watching. If there's one thing that's really bringing my piss to a boil right now, it's this media-manufactured outrage over Donald Trump supposedly praising Putin, which he clearly did not do. It's not like Trump supports what Putin's doing. He's been out there criticizing it. But what Trump did do was make a dumb observation that he probably didn't need to do, and that's legitimate to criticize. But it's just so obvious that the media is just trying to deflect away from the guy and the party who are actually in charge right now. Trump has no power. Joe Biden does. Republicans aren't in charge. The Democrats are. And the media doing what they do must deflect attention away from the fact that Joe Biden's approval numbers continue to plummet, along with trust in his loyal, corrupt media. That brings us to Andrea Mitchell and Chuck Todd and two other Democrat mouthpieces here ganging up on this one Republican lady who appears to be a time-traveling librarian from the 80s. And we'll get right to that clip, but first I need about 30 seconds of your time for a quick capitalism break with C60 Evo. Nothing is more important than our health. Because of this, I recommend C60 Evo. C60 Evo has been a part of my daily routine for a while now, and I gotta tell you, I love the increased energy and the increased mental focus, which you may have noticed in my videos. Here's why you should at least try C60 Evo's olive oil product. It's manufactured right here in America. It's based on Nobel Prize winning chemistry, and it's supported by peer-reviewed published research, including a longevity experiment where the test subjects received the C60 Evo formula lived 90% longer than the control group. So go to my link in the description or pinned comment and take advantage of a 20% savings by going on subscription. You can cancel at any time. And make sure to use the promo code DRONETECH to get an additional 10% off. Former President Trump, at the time, President Trump defended Putin's take on 2016 and disagreed with his own head of national security, which led to the DNI right. contradicting well, remember, him in real time. Because I You're sparking over there, president Daniel. Trump. I covered former President Trump. <laughs> he likes strong men. Um, are you talking about this DNI? The same DNI that promoted and failed to corroborate the Steele dossier? which was then used as a pretense to try and undo the election results of 2016 using a document that is now highly discredited. And so this is something that we saw consistently throughout sure. his presidency, Danny. Uh, it is. I think President, Trump, uh, President Trump's judgment on uh, Russia and on Putin has not been awesome. I think Mike Pompeo misspoke. I don't think that Mike Pompeo actually He said it deeply, several times. Uh, I know, Andrea, but I don't think that's what he believes. Hang on. First he of all, there are four of you and it. one of me. I'm, I'm the only Republican <laughs> sitting here. Hang on a second. We're hey, not Republicans. We're Democrats. We're journalists. <laughs> no. We're hey, not Republicans. We're Democrats. We're journalists. Oh, three of us. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that, babe. <laughs> that was great. Did you catch her response there at the end? Three of us. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that, babe. Yeah, I always love it when these obvious Democrat operatives who are pretending to be journalists claim that they're not Democrats. And literally all that they do for a living is promote slash protect Democrat politicians and policies. Andrea Mitchell and Chuck Todd especially. Mitchell never reports, she advocates. And it's always for leftist Democrat politicians, narratives, and policies. She was literally featured in Barack Obama campaign ads spouting talking points straight from his campaign. I'm Barack Obama. Obama and I approve this message. I'm not in favor of a $5 trillion tax cut. That's not my plan. The nonpartisan tax policy center concluded that Mitt Romney's tax plan would cost $4.8 trillion over 10 years. <laughs> yeah, except for that claim comes straight from the Obama campaign and the independent group she references disputes the campaign's interpretation of that study. So yeah, it's pretty obvious given her behavior over the years. I could literally make an hour long compilation of her being a Democrat party activist. And if you're interested, I'll put a link to an archive of her hackery in the description under sources. Lastly, Andrea Mitchell has no room to call anyone else out for praising brutal dictators. When she embarrassed herself by praising Fidel Castro, and she went even further by repeating propaganda straight from Castro's mouth. By then a declared socialist, he dramatically improved healthcare and literacy. I think, uh he will be revered as someone who brought education and social services and medical care to all of his people. He never tolerated free elections or dissent, but gave his people better health care and education. In churches, preparations for more than a week of official mourning before a burial ceremony next Sunday. One woman overcome with grief. 
And he was a voracious reader questioning me about politics and about the economy back in the U.S. and very, very aware of everything that was going on. Very, very smart and very wedded to his revolutionary ideology. So yeah, in case you didn't know, the so-called reading program that American leftists love to tout was literally just a communist indoctrination system. Now on to mouse man Chuck Todd, whose wife makes millions working for the Democrat Party, promoting Democrat politicians and their causes. But that has nothing to do with Chuck Todd. Oh, that's not his money. It's his wife's money. And everyone knows that married couples don't share money. Chuck Todd is objective reporter who never tips his hand to show his political leanings. Started when the mainstream media stopped, dropped any pretense of being unbiased and actually chose sides during this election. This, this fire was started when you completely ignored, for example, our investigation of Hunter Biden. You know, no, no evidence of wrongdoing there. And now we find out after the election, no, there is a fair amount of evidence to the point that we have a real FBI investigation. Senator, so all right. It's I've the had enough the of hearing it's this. The, it's, the, right. it's the, it's the, it's, no, it, listen, I've had enough of this too. It's no, the Senator, bias in the it, media. It is, that you have spent, created a, 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 a situation where, where Republicans and yeah. conservatives do not trust no. the mainstream media. And that is what's, that is what has destroyed the credibility of the media and our institutions and right. really no, the destruction confidence of in the election result. So I didn't start this. You have destroyed the credibility of the news media by your bias. And of course, people like James Comey, Andrew McCabe, uh, John Brennan destroyed yeah. the credibility of the FBI and, part, and our justice system as well. We have an enormous problem in this country. It's unsustainable. And the only way you solve it is with information and transparency and hearings and investigations. So you it's believe, not quackery. You it's not conspiracy in, theory. You it's believe, what's going to be required. How about the moon and, landing? And obviously this, Are you going to hold this hearings election, on that? When you, <laughs> Beyond making millions from the Democrat Party to promote their politicians and causes, he clearly shows that he's mostly just interested in constantly putting the Democrat Party's political opponents on the defensive and doing damage control. So yes, the time-traveling 80s librarian is correct in her criticism of this ridiculous panel. That while World War III could be brewing, they're talking about a guy who's out of power. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. You can support this channel in any number of ways, but the quickest and easiest is to hit that like button, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.